when you're old. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm providing Jesus, Terry. But if he don't, we're out here. What's it matter then? Right? I mean, we're all in glory. So then you can say, well, you didn't make it to old man. We got out of here before then. Amen. Now, uh, Hebrews 8, 6. But now he has obtained a more excellent ministry inasmuch as he is also mediator of a better covenant which was established on better promises. We just saw last night that healing is the children's bread. Didn't we? From this day forward, you no longer ever need to say you're sick because the truth is you're healed. You, you say, well, is it just I say it? No, 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 it's not you just say it. It's from here. I say I'm healed because that's what the Word says and I believe it here. I believe the report of the Lord. Matthew 21, 22, and whatever thing you ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. You will receive. You will, you will, you will receive. Mark 9, 23, Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. How many things? Hmm. Matthew nine twenty nine. According to your faith, let it be to you. According to your faith, let it be to you. And so, man, I'm just getting started. Well, if you've been here the last three nights and you just got started, you got yourself a healthy diet, a T-bone steak. So you're off to the races. And if you were behind and you got here, you should be caught up by now. You should know what the will of God is 100%. And the will of God is that His people walk in health and wealth all the days of their life. That's the will of God. It's pretty simple. It takes people most of the time with a degree to mess it up for you. That's it. God says it. I'll have it. End of story. That's it. It's that simple. Now some people think, oh, that's arrogant. No, actually, that's humility. Arrogance is sitting around thinking and talking and saying you don't think it's God's will. Arrogance is saying, I know what the Word says, but I don't really believe that way because of where I go to church. That's arrogance. It's not arrogant to believe God. It's actually humbling yourself before the Lord and believing what He says over anything you think, over anything you see, over anything you can feel. I trust God. I trust God and I trust His Word. I believe God and I believe His Word. I believe His Word so much, I refuse to have anything else other than what the Word says. 
regardless of what my life may look like, regardless of what my bank account may look like, regardless of what may be going on, I refuse to live any other way than what the Word says I can have. So something's going to have to change. And the Word won't change. So my body will have to change. My bank account will have to change. My life will have to change. But the Word will not change. This is the standard. Not where we go to church. This is the standard. The Word of God. Not our ideas. The Word of God. Not what we think. The Word of God. Well, yes, brother, but I came from... No, no, no. The Word of God. That's the, this is the standard. Not other people's life. Not us looking at other people going, well, I'm better off than they are. No, no, no. This is the standard. Are you better off than Jesus? Because this is the standard. The Word of God is the standard. This is what we go by. We don't go by other people's lives. We don't go by other, what other people are doing. We don't go by what the church down the street's doing. We go by the Word of God. We don't go by what everybody else thinks or says. We go by the Word of God. We don't go by what other churches say. Well, yes, I know that, you know, y'all believe that, but we don't believe that. Okay, so you don't believe the Word because the Word is the standard. Oh, no, we do. No, I beg to differ. If we're sitting here talking about what you don't believe and it's in the Word, then you don't believe the Word. Let's, how about let's just quit beating around the bush and call it what it is. It's unbelief. It's unbelief. You, people can try to cut it however they want, but let's just call it what it is. And that's what it is. It's unbelief. It's stiff-necked rebellion against the Word of God. And there will be preachers Sunday morning walk to their pulpit in stiff-necked rebellion in contempt of the Word of God. May it never be that way here. May it never be that way here. This is the standard and this is what we live by. Faith is the key that unlocks all of heaven's treasure into our life. And without it, it's impossible to please God. It's impossible. Amen. Would you bow your heads, please? Hey. Hmm? Is she here? All right. In the name of Jesus, I command healing to come to Sadler now. In Jesus' name. There she is. In the name of Jesus, be made whole. Be made whole. Be made whole. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, don't any of y'all get this idea because I can't pack you. I can barely pack her. In the name of Jesus. Be made whole in Jesus' name. Better? Hmm? Feel better? Hmm? A little bit? Well, we're off to the races then. Hallelujah. 
Yeah, I can just see one of y'all running up here going, Pastor. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Hate to disappoint. Well, praise the Lord. kind of uncommon, ain't it? Well, I really made a mess. And it's a holy mess too, amen. I don't regret it. Man, I'm excited about this year. My God, it's going to be awesome. Just when, you, when y'all go down, watch your step on the steps. I got some cleaning to do. But I, we're not cleaning that altar. That's staying. We'll just rub it in good. Amen. 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 God is good. Amen. Amen. What a word. I'm thankful for faith teaching. It's been good to be in the house of God this week. I've enjoyed every single service. Just a few things. Our men's meeting is coming up January the 26th. It'll be right here at the church at 7 p.m. And then um, if you need to know anything about what's happening here at Life in Christ Church, you can always get that information from the welcome area. We have people ask. Sometimes, you know, you have small groups. We have men's meeting every month, and we have women's meeting every month. And that's two things that you can start and get involved in amen and I know the men have some group text and things that they do and the women have those and so it's good to get in those and get encouraged because there's text and encouraging uh, scriptures and things going out every single day so if you don't even know if you don't know about that those groups or anything uh, you can go to the welcome desk and they'll make sure to get you hooked up with somebody or Chris and Heather right here on y'all stand up on the front row Chris can stand up. He's still drunk from earlier. But Chris and Heather, they'll they'll get you taken care of if you want to be involved in that group text and get some encouragement every day. They'll make sure to get you involved in that, all right? All right, stand to your feet. Be careful out there. It's cold. Still slick in a few places. I'm thankful that we're able to get out. Amen? They're saying we got a little more coming in this week. Bleh. It's not my fault. I've had many people ask me, are you the one that's Brandy? It's the new teacher in school. <laughs> it's not me. I know that for sure. I'm done. I'm done with it. <laughs> I want the 70. Just give me straight up 70. I like it. Amen. Amen. But be careful, it's cold. And uh, make sure you bundle up, amen? Bundle those babies up. All right? Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you praise tonight for who you are. I thank you, Lord, that your hand of blessing is on them. I thank you, Father God, that they have favor. Everywhere they go, favor chases them down and overtakes them. And we give you praise for that tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You are dismissed.